Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do another tarot reading for writers. Today I've decided to go ahead and shuffle the cards and set out the cards that I've picked. Um, and, you know, we're gonna talk about it. This is our main character. This is the person that the reading is about, that the book is gonna be about. This is your main character. This is their goal, what they're going to do. Uh, their external goal, not necessarily their internal goal. This may be something that we can either pull more cards for or you can figure out. This is their motivation. This is their external motivation. And this is their conflict. This is their ex the, the conflict that they face because of these other things. So first of all, we have the three of cups in reverse. I'll turn it up right for you for just a minute get the glare off of it. These are beautiful cards. I'm very, very pleased with them. So the Three of Cups in reverse is someone who has been rejected. Cups generally have to do with, you know, matters of the heart. So I'm going to say that this is going to be a romance reading. And this main character approached someone or was approached by someone was in a relationship or was trying to be in a relationship and they were rejected and they said wow they just really couldn't believe that they were rejected that it was not going to work out for them because they had put a lot of faith in that relationship and they found out their goal that the best thing for them to do at this time in life five of cups in reverse to recuperate they need to go home they need to go home and they needed to reconnect with their family, their friends, and recuperate from this love rejection because it's left them feeling weak and, you know, a little desperate. Their motivation is going to be the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands, as you can see here, is a pretty fiery card full of energy, full of action. And I'm going to say that's exactly what it means. That once they get home and they have an opportunity to reconnect with family and friends and to recuperate from this rejection, they're gonna decide they need to take action. The action that they need to take is something um, bold, a bold action. Maybe they're gonna cut their hair. Maybe they're gonna change their clothing style. Maybe they're gonna join a rock band. They're gonna do something drastic to try and gain the attention and the affection of the person that's rejected them. And their family and friends are standing back in awe saying, really, you really think that's what you need to do to get this person's attention? Are they worth that? And so as the story goes on, they go back to church. This is where most of their family and friends are in their church home, be it Christian or otherwise, because we have the Hierophant in reverse. And that information that they're getting from their friends and family, especially in their church, is that you should not change to please someone else. That if they don't love you the way you are, then they're not worth the effort. But our main character is not gonna listen to that. Our main character is dead set in believing that it's gonna take a bold move to interest this person and get them back into their life. And of course, when you have a character that's got a strong motivation, a strong uh, goal, and a strong conflict, you have a pretty interesting story. I do believe this is a romantic reading because you have a cup and a cup next to each other for your character and your goal. So there, it has to do with romance and it has to do with a broken romance because everything is in reverse. And I hope that this has been interesting for you and I hope that this is something you'd be interested in writing because I know it does interest me. The third book in my series, the Mount Moriah series, which I have begun to write, is just this kind of reaction. They're, they're a broken relationship. They're trying to figure out what to do next. They go home to kind of get support from their family and friends. They decide they need to be more independent and do greater things. And they have some pretty good conflict in their life. Anyway, if that sounds like something that you'd like to write or maybe even just read, 
why don't you leave me a comment down below because I would love to have an opportunity to chat with you about it. And if you're of a mind, please subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber to this channel. I do tarot readings about every third or fourth video. And if this is one that you've enjoyed, plan on being with me for the next one. Till next time.